Corruption Perceptions Index, also known as the CPI, scores and ranks countries around the world based on how corrupt their public sector is perceived to be. The scores reflect the views of experts or surveys of business people, not the general public. We calculate the CPI using data from 13 different external sources. Transparency International is not involved in the production of any of these 13 datasets. The CPI includes data produced by the World Bank and the World Economic Forum, as well as by private risk and consulting companies and think tanks. Each of the 13 sources rates countries using its own scale. One source rates countries on a scale of 1 to 7, for instance, while another uses a scale of 1 to 100. As a result, direct comparison of country scores between different sources is not possible. Therefore, we transform each score from the original scale into standardized values that show the position of each country relative to others. By doing this, we are able to compare country scores across the 13 different data sources. After standardizing all scores, we then convert them into a scale from 0 to 100, which we use for the CPI. Next, we simply calculate the average of the transformed scores for each country. The average score is the CPI value for each country. In order to ensure reliability of the results, only countries with data from at least three sources are included in the CPI. The CPI results are comparable across time back to 2012. This is because when we convert the original data to the CPI scale, we take into account the 2012 parameters, which turns 2012 into the baseline year. Annual CPI results from before 2012 cannot be compared to other years. The 13 different data sources used to calculate the CPI all measure various aspects of corruption in the public sector. This ranges from bribery, the diversion of public funds and the effective prosecution of corruption cases, to adequate legal frameworks, access to information and legal protections for whistleblowers, journalists and investigators. The CPI does not measure activities such as tax fraud, money laundering, financial secrecy or illicit flows of money. Corruption generally involves illegal activities which are deliberately hidden and only come to light through scandals, investigations or prosecutions. Researchers, civil society and governments have made advances in measuring corruption in specific sectors. However, to date there is no index which directly measures real levels of corruption in all its manifestations. The data sources that make up the CPI ask business executives and country experts questions which are based on carefully designed questionnaires. The CPI scores generally correlate with certain objective measures, including citizens' reported experience with bribery. To ensure that the CPI methodology and results are reliable, the index is regularly reviewed by independent evaluators. Such reviews have consistently shown that the CPI is statistically and conceptually coherent. Ultimately, the CPI is the most widely used corruption measurement indicator due to the wide global coverage, the increased reliability which comes with combining different sources, and the fact that it reconciles different points of view on what constitutes public sector corruption. For more information, please visit www.transparency.org slash CPI.